Hi everyone, this is Daniel Evans here. Thank you for purchasing my Fruits of Fiverr report. This is just a quick audio file to connect with you all and to summarise what this report's all about. Okay, so this is a little different from my previous methods in the sense that we're not going to serve untangible goods, we're actually going to serve physical goods. But don't fear, you don't have to queue up at the post office with little parcels. Um, you can do that if you want to, but I'm going to make this as simple as possible. And the way you're going to do this is you're going to send out physical goods, light physical goods that fit into an envelope that you can easily post through a post box. Okay, so hopefully that's put your mind at rest a little. I'm going to go on to show you exactly how we're going to sell physical goods on Fiverr. So this is Fiverr, no doubt you've seen it before, Fiverr's main screen. Um, for the sake of this method, we'll click on Gifts to the right. And we can go into subcategories if we want to. Um, just take a note of the things that are inside the gift category. Um, click into Gifts for Geeks, Unusual Gifts, take a look through, take note of things that are there. So what you'll find in the gift category is little trinkets, little accessories that people are selling for $5. So I'm going to go on to explain how you can obtain these little things to sell for profit. Okay, so head over to ebay.com, ebay.co.uk, wherever you're located in the world. The search terms to obtain these little items, um, I'm going to use bulk, B-U-L-K, and job lot. Uh, there may be different terminologies according to which country you live in, but these generally work. Um, so we'll begin with bulk, search that. So from the search results, the first thing you want to do is click buy it now because you don't want to be messing around with auctions. Um, you're going to be presented with a variety of goods. Um, some might be mixed goods, some might be heavier goods, more expensive goods that you don't want to consider. The main point that you need to bear in mind is this needs to be a light product and needs to fit in an envelope assuming you want to keep things simple. So those are things to keep a look out for as you scroll down the search results. Uh, obviously you don't want shoes. <laughs> um, as I go down you might get ideas. I don't want to point anything particular out otherwise this method will saturate. Um, so it's up to you to select your product based upon those credentials. Um, so just scroll down, have a look. Um, go through a good few pages and you will get ideas. As you do get ideas, you might wish to search for that particular thing to see if there's any more options, to see if you can buy um, quantities, lesser quantities to lower your risk, just in case um, you don't want to jump in the deep end before you you purchase a bulk load of products before you sell on Fiverr. Um, like I said, the other search term is job lot. That's G-O-B-L-O-T. So we'll do that without the hash. And that'll give a different set of results, obviously, for the people who have used the title job lot. Um, Again, there's going to be a load of heavier items, so you, you do need to have a look. Another point that you need to consider is you need to sell um, the same type of product. You don't want like a mix of a whole lot of different products. You need a single product, like take the lighters there for instance. I'm not suggesting that you sell lighters by any means, but that's one single type of product that you could sell on Fiverr. I am offering a lighter for five dollars. Um, so again scroll through the pages, see what's available. Um, it's up to you. You need to pick something either unique or something that's currently selling on Fiverr. There's two ways to approach it. You can bring something new to the table or you can play safe by selling something that's already selling. I do realise there's a load of bulkier goods here in the example, but I've deliberately avoided digging into the subsequent pages as not to give people ideas, because the method will saturate as mentioned. 
Um, so what you need to do is, is dig through all the other pages and you will find all the smaller lighter items which you can sell using this method. Okay, so the prices you want to look out for are something that you can make at least a $3 profit on. So um, bear that in mind as you're going through the products on eBay. Uh, you need to bear in mind that it's light, it can be posted in an envelope and it needs to sell for $3 as mentioned. So once you've found the product that you want to sell, purchase the product, wait for it to arrive so that you have the product in stock to be able to send it out when someone places an order with you on Fiverr.com. So with that done, we'll head over to Fiverr um, and we're going to set up a listing for the product that's just been delivered to your house, which you're going to sell. So we go to create a new gig from the seller menu. I will send you X, where X is your product, for $5. It need be as simple as that. I mean, you can even put in some adjectives and awesome, I will send you an awesome X for $5. In the description, obviously, you'll type out what the product is, and you you could type in features of the product, why it'll benefit the person who purchases the product etc instructions to buyer is obviously you'll require their, their postal address or whatever postal address they want to send it they assume it might be a gift for someone so um that's what you do there next you put tags in those would reflect what the product is um just type in lighter if it happens to be a lighter Obviously, it's not going to be a lighter, but that's just an example. Maximum days to complete. Uh, there's several options for this. Uh, I suggest you consult the guide that's included in this package. Um, normally, you'd stake seven days just to be safe, but if you are sending worldwide, if you've decided to offer that option, um, you might wish to state as much as 21 days. It's really up to you. Um, add an image this is mandatory um, you do need to add an image because you need to show what the person's going to be purchasing um, and that's more or less it once you're done obviously click save and then you'll go live with your gig and then it's a case of just waiting for orders to come in answering queries etc um, like the guide highlights um, you do increase your chances of selling obviously if you have multiple gigs for different types of products if you hedge your bets in effect um, so that's something to consider um, don't be disheartened if your first item doesn't sell your first type of item because there's always other avenues to explore um, and like I say I do recommend that you explore multiple listings with multiple products because that's what the most successful five or sellers are doing with tangible goods so um with that covered, that's more or less it. Um, please do consult the guide if you haven't already because that does cover some additional points. Um, and that's more or less it. If you have any questions, I can be contacted at admin at webcoredesign.co.uk.